Just add, this is only temporary. You see, my husband is overseas on spare mark, and my children, they're, they're done by their grandmother. I understand, sweetheart. As long as I get my rent, the first of the month, I have no problem. So, I can take a look around the place? Yes, eh? man. Yes, man. With our pleasure. Come this way. Don't be afraid. This is the yard. The big yard. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
come this way to you. And right over here is the bathroom for the tenants. I expect it to be clean at all times. You mean that thing right there? Yes, sweetheart. You know, I soon upgraded to one of those high end bathrooms. I call the man to go measure it up, but it's not reach yet. Matter of fact, I soon fix up the whole thing. And this is the house, which have two kitchens. That one there is right, Puno. A bathroom for me, which is half limit. Let me add that. Five bedrooms, two around the back. And three around the front. The rooms around the front already occupied. So your room is around the back. Then I will room around the back. You're going to turn and start No, yes, no, no. Because me, then, no man, and the old witch in the next one. What do you mean, which room? No, the one where you're catching up. So, you know what, take me serious when I tell you, say, I should want the room. Which one me and Rolla must be, eh? Now, when the old witch. Then oh, you must do a thing like that, Mr. Butchie. We are no must put the furniture there. What do you mean? You go move the things there? Eh? Or you want me to go move them for you? Move over things there, eh, Mr. Butchie. Move over there. Move over there. Move over there. Move over there. No, 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 no. I don't like this one, Mr. No. You promised me an empty room. I, I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss. Look here, miss. Look here, miss. Look here, miss. You don't have nothing to worry about. You see that woman there? She never lived nowhere. I'm a family take her into this yard from she a pitney and take care of her. She living there for free, not paying a thing. There's a old woman round the back. I'm a tell her, say, she for going there. And she's still in there. I understand you know, but look here, ma. You still want the room or not? Yes, I would, you know, but Mr. Gotcha. Oh, that! Miss Wilson! The man with the furniture, them! He's a No, ma. Yes. Where are they? Come on, that one, yeah. Three of them. I know me can't find them. I don't understand what is going on, you know. Last week it was my brassier, now it's my lingerie. What happened, Pam? I'm talking about my underwear. Somebody take them off the line again. Is what you're saying to me? Is what really going on in this yard? Look here, I don't want to know, you know. All I want to know is if I can wash my clothes and put them on the line anymore. All right, Pearl. I'll get to the bottom of this. Chaman, I don't know is which pervert them have hanging around this place. Yes, man. It must be some pervert. But wait, man. I won't catch them. If I have nothing to do with it, I'm going to wait and see. Right, sure. Well, go on, that's what I know. One. I'm not tough for the boy. I touch her. Come touch me. I go me. Me the for man my picnic, you know. You think I'll ask about juice and three six can feed my picnic? Boy, I turn fiesty. You can't talk to me, boy. I go and go do your homework, you know. Lord. This one you know, woman. No, I'm telling you, you're a Chris man. You're a Chris man. And you know this when? Long time. And you still go pick me for him after you know some of five other pick me out there when now, man. Hey, hey. And what is that to you, sir? Come out of my business, you're too fast. Josephine. Yeah. You're seeing it, panty eyeglin around the place, yeah? <laughs> yeah, me the seat I wander around the place. I'm taking time to put my little finger. What kind of question that, Mr. Guthrie? I just asked you a simple question. It's Pearl, Mr. Underwear. And, and I'm just asking... Me know that she is. Coming here, I'm out from around the corner shop. But I want question me, I have to ask you, Mr. Guthrie. Oh, she wants a bad lucky. 
Why no? But never take man off. I like when me pin them off. Cause nobody no want no sheet. At least it would have be an expensive sheet. Bright or fifty. Me no wear them things. You see the things that were me buy when me got Miami. Me no wear jing bang. All right, mother, go along on your cob. I know it's good at the rain due, but I still don't get my partner joy yet. Can I wait until I get it? All right, Pearl. When you get it, you give it to me, yeah? Right. And Pearl? Yes, Mr. Gutt? You can call me Albertius. Right? The name is Albertius Jebediah Guthrie. Okay, Albertius. All right. I am blessed, I am blessed, every day of my life I am blessed, from I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, every day, every day of my life I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed, every day of my life, I am blessed, from I wake up in the morning, till I lay my head to rest, but Lord of mercy do, it's wise when me choose to put my clothes on the line, this woman choose to come roast our breadfruit, Miss Josephine, you can't wait until I close them dry man before you start roasting your breadfruit. Yes! I'm even picking you, I'm even picking that for hungry. What's up? I was gonna tell this woman. Miss Josephine, you know that I was here before you start light up your fire, ma'am. And all I'm asking is that you please just wait until I close them dry before you light the fire now. Alright. I'm out. Thanks. I threw me a piece of my car, you know. I'm gonna really want to have a I will just lie to the and keep a breakfast for breakfast for morning. Thanks. But you know what we don't understand? It's why you keep calling me Miss Josephine. Why you can't call me sister like when you call your church sister in my church? But you're going to have me to go to church too. Well, you come to my church, yes? But I don't give your heart to the Lord. So wait, we have to baptize before you can call me sister. Look here, me a little better than some of them people that call themselves Christian. Hmm. So why you don't give your life to the Lord? I'll show them how to live then. No, you look like you not here when me are sad. Me, I live better life than some of them so-called Christian death. Some of them need to come to church and baptize. For you, for you, I call me sister. I understand what you're saying, you know, Miss Josephine. But the Bible tell me, say, Unless a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Born again? Look here, stop chat foolishness, man. That's how them tell you, no? For trick you, no? For turn member? And you know how to us all land. Hey, here's what you're talking about, Miss Josephine. Turn the one like you don't know what me talk about. It's a trick about tithes and offering. It's a trick to get to make pastor rich. <sighs> I understand, you know, Miss Josephine. I understand that you're giving your thoughts and what you think church is all about. But that's not what it is about. What is it then? Um, child, it is about fellowship. It is about serving God with your whole heart, with your body, mind, and soul. Aye, aye, it is about aye, 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 aye. It is about giving, giving of your tithes, giving of yourself. Everything that I say to you now is in the Bible, you know. You especially know? the part about giving your Listen to me now, man. Especially the part about giving your tithes and offering. That is in the Bible. Aye, in Malachi aye, chapter aye, 3, aye, verse 6. I know, but I would be back preaching, miss. I want to question my ask, you know. Miss Josephine, I don't want to argue. I'm not that type of person, but we're having Bible study down at church every Tuesday evening. Join us now, and you can ask all the questions. I have all the things to do. I don't have time to come and have Bible study. We come to church on Sunday. That is enough for me. All right. If one of these Tuesday evenings they're not doing anything, you know where to find me. You can just come down to the church, you know, but we're there. Don't feel any way because we're using a lamp. Or 
If we don't have no fan nor no AC in my pot in there, then I wish, then I wish church not have no light nor no fan. <laughs> not mine. But that is what would happen if we don't be with tides and a friend. <laughs> That's coming from around here. I don't know for the life of me how Miss Josephine stay around here. Because she used to it. Come on, Mr. Guthrie, please be human now. Somebody needs to ensure that she eats or even bathing. Well, well, I don't know. She's not my responsibility. Not your. Then whose responsibility is she, Mr. Guthrie? It's two months I live here, and I've never seen anybody visit her. I don't think she gets food unless it's myself or Miss Daisy give her. Well, I have to go to the poor house to see what I can do for her. She live her life already. I have my life to live. Oh, well, Mr. Guthrie, you can't look at it like that. I hear that she's been here for many, many years, you know. Surely you must know something. A family member, relative, somebody. What do you mean I, I must know something? Look here, woman. It's better you go in your room and mind your own business. So why are you getting upset? All I'm saying is that you need to help her. This is your house and you need to help her. Well, you never look for help her then. Since you're so concerned, go help her. going to get better. Every day I ask God, why? Why may I have to lose my job? 16 years of service, great money, and everything just gone, whoops, in a what? flash. What? How that happen? Oh, Miss Daisy. You see, when my boss and his wife started business, he had the three of us working there. And I tell you, we helped to run that business from scratch. Him daughter was 18 at the time, you know, and she, she just started college. And poor Miss Murphy, she just take sick, you know. She takes sick all of a sudden and then she just died. And it's like from that, everything just went to haywire. So, what really happened? Is it that the daughter just, what is she fire, you know? <laughs> You see, when she come back from college, she came with three of her friends, you know. And she come draw us in meeting. And you know what she said? There is a new sheriff in town. And we're going to switch up some things. And then that was it. Oh, after all, we'll do. So what our father say. That was it. I think Mr. Murphy was so grief-stricken and him take it to heart. So you see, even when we were calling, calling, calling him, Miss Daisy, we couldn't get through. We called so till. And then one day, the phone just stopped ringing. Oh, my child. I don't know what is wrong with people these days. 
It's like they don't have no heart. Jesus. So, you can talk to me, man. Continue. <laughs> really heartless for true. Because even the little two pants we get mm -hmm. could barely do anything. Can you see how I am? My children were going to a high end school and I had to take them out just like that. Right now they're with their grandmother until until me and Mr. Wilson figure something out. Oh. And that's why I'm here. Living like a refugee, Miss 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 Daisy. Oh my child. It's alright. God is going to come through for you. You just wait and see. I've been waiting on Miss Daisy. But nothing is happening. You know, sometimes God allow these things to happen to us, you know. To see how we would react. You used to go to church. Go back again. Pray again. Believe again. I understand, you know, Miss Daisy. But I just not get it. Why would God allow this to happen to me? Me, Miss Daisy. Me who was a faithful servant. Me never itch for pay my tithes. Why would God allow that to happen to someone like me? I understand what you're saying. Look at the story with Job. Look how faithful Job was. And look what happened to him. And him a wife. Him a wife who was supposed to be there for him. I would tell him if he curse God and die. Imagine she was supposed to lift him up. But look at the end. Look how God blessed him more than him could ever imagine. You don't worry. Everything I'm gonna work out alright. You don't believe that? Ah, uh, you're right, you know. Well, Miss Daisy, I always love to hear about the story of Job, you know. He was such a faithful servant. He was, he was. Ah, oh, my child. I'm glad I could have this conversation with you. That's what we are here for. To lift each other up. We don't tear each other down. Everything is going to work out all right. You don't believe that? Oh, Miss Daisy. I always love to hear about the faithfulness of you. I really, really appreciate this. And I thank you. <laughs> Thanks, my child. You take care now, you hear? Alright, you see me Alright, son. God, I know you're here, my prayer, that I need to leave this place. But I think you're keeping me here for a reason. But, Father, me just I beg you. Help me to maintain. Thinking of the place. 
She and Papa clothes good. Me don't cook the rice good. And how she expect a 12 year old to keep her yard to her. I'm so sorry, my dear. I never knew you had such a rough life. I'm really sorry. Yes. That's why when people see people ask in a way, they must ask questions. Like how you ask, because you don't know what people are going through. God knows your name. He has a plan for you. You go through all of this. You need some sort of counseling. Counseling? No, 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 no. I don't need no counseling. You see that woman that's around here? She had my heart. When she used to beat me and me cry, she tell me to dry my tears. Because if I shed one more, I tell you me I drink the rest of So from that, I don't cry. I don't need no counseling. Me counsel myself. Right now, the one comfort me have his mind for me. Well, you can go down to church. I made them pray for you. They might come to the right way, you know. No, no, no. She has me sick. That church can't help me with any problem me have, and she was right. A couple months now, me I got at the church with my son for them help me. And if can't help me, so me just go where me used to. And where is that? Not the barn yard. So it's true, Pearl was talking. You're really a friend of the end of the yard? Yes, so what to that? Lord of mercy. Look here, what Mas Josh is telling me is true. I hope you don't have to pick me wine down right in a school anymore. I hope you try to hold me pick me down. <laughs> Girl, if you're not busy, then what you're laughing for, ma'am? Your tongue there, too, then not you yet. Listen, listen. And that, when I'm looking at people, people know they're both, you know. But what I'm saying is, when you're covered under the blood of Jesus Christ, they don't have nothing for it, boss. Well, me don't know about that. So, what do you think? You believe him over God's word? Look here, that man, him help a whole heap of people. And more than one time when me go there, when him tell me, sir, it's exactly for it, go, ma'am. I can ask you a question, Miss Josephine. Ask her. No? When you got to him the other day, you did tell him your suspicion? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but that man tell you exactly where he think you want to hear. Look, Miss, you do your God thing, I'll make do my thing. Miss Josephine. What? Mm. You know what I don't understand? You call Miss Winnie a wicked witch. But everything she tell you, you believe. And everything she tell you, you do, you do. So what are you? Jesus is the landlord. Me can't get the pressure. 
Jesus. Oh Jesus. I come against them, mighty God. I pray you step into every room in this place, mighty God. Cut and clear anything that is not at you, mighty God. God, I pray you hear me, mighty God. From the what to my God. Anything that is not of you, mighty God, in God, I pray you come against them, Jesus. Anything that is not of you, mighty God, I come against them, mighty God. We don't want it here, mighty God. We don't need it here, mighty God. Come in this yard, man. If we need to make it so much noise. I never know someone live in a churchyard. Albertus! Albertus! Hey, Um, this is a I don't know what I do with somebody like him. This is me, I introduce him to a family. Mommy, this is Albertius. <laughs> uh, I was sleeping. Can I? What's all that noise in the yard? Is that I was calling you about? The one you could hear me get for rest, me can't get no peace and quiet. I tell him I don't want to sit here enough. Know. Wait. Albertius, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just missed my footing. No, but I see you go to the door and it's like something push you down. You see? Oh, I mean, I just lose my footing. I soon come back. Here is where you're going. If you are gone, oh man, something strange just happened. Oh man, I'm not so frightened. It just dropped so. I wonder if it's that other one set up in the yard. Oh man, this one looks like a clown. That's so my Chinese dog. I'm not telling you. Frank! Frank! It's what's wrong with her? What's it? And what really are going in that yard? Eh? You don't see no no control over your yard, got it? What do you mean by we that? We need to take back this yard. Who you make all kind of people come and live in a yard? What do you mean all kind of people? Christian people. They don't know what once them come live in here. Everything where we are do my shop. I don't understand you, man. Got it? Don't go like you don't know what I go on here, so. Cause that woman inside there. Eh? Tell me all we need to know about this thing. Your grandfather was a true leader. You grew up in a thing, but you are mush up your own man. But I don't understand you, man. Hey. I, I, I tried to I, I explain to you what happened to me in a yard. And you leave me high and dry and say, Dup in my yard. Watch it. I know one away. I know Dup in my yard, you know. I sit nails. Hey, me. I don't understand you, man. I tried to tell him, say, I was going towards the door and something just pitched me down my ground and frightened so still. But see, I'm not saying something to pitch you down. But this one here, yeah, bigger than we. Bigger my than God. we? I don't understand you, man. Speak English, no, man. Hey, you see, like, I will work with the candle, I will work with the dead. Them Christian people are pretty and fast and go down from them knees, but see. Yes, and feed them God answer by fire. Mm. So, 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 what you say? I say, no, not coming back into this yard until they get rid of them Christian people. I don't understand you, man. Hey, you see, like how we geared up yourself with the spirit. Them protected by them spirit. Which spirit that? But the Holy Spirit, man, is an angel we get in contact with. Angel in my yard? Yes. Hey, I you see if they never did that live right, Gucci? Mm? We could have just sent two dopey pan them, you know, and send them back in. For them pump up with prayer and fasting. You can't touch them so easy. So you know, say so them now live right. Mm. Gucci, you need to come into this thing a full time, you know. 
For my know my silver coming out of this yard is the first I feel this this calmness, this peace. My book! We are troubled by the Holy Spirit coaching. We can't turn you. I'm going to go. So, so, oh. you, so you know so much about Obia. Good question. You know? I was a pastor once. Yep. You used to preach in one of them little teeny church in the country. Yep. But I never feel like I had enough power. So I went on a 40 day fast. And Gochi, when I come off of that fast, mm, I feel like I could move a mountain. Yes, God. You know? Start build a church. People start coming, deaf start see, blind start walk, and the dumb start talk. But you know, eventually, Gucci, the things start get bigger. We have to build a new church. Yes, people start rolling, money start coming. Till after a while, me just start get distracted. Me start feel like me a god, Gucci. So me start do all of the wrong things that me shouldn't have do. Start take advantage of my power. After a while, God take back everything, except the gift. Yeah. So, instead of me go fall up like a dog and dead, I go on a new mission. And it's not doing so bad these days. You know? Yeah, you can understand mm. the wrong thing then. Yeah. But, you know, feel like you want to go back and preach. Hey, watch your man. This is my life, you know. I can do whatever I want to do. I can't take a restriction with church and can't bother. I'm free now. I can't do anything I want to do. And people always want help. And I always have to help them. Hey, Gucci, you know the amount of people who come to me to get rid of their family member? Hmm. Hmm? You would have surprised. And give you a sweet joke. You know the amount of church people who come to me? These people don't know what they have, Gucci. Them blinder than a bat. So, so what you do when time them come? We just stay with them, man. We don't always have the answer to tell them. But we just listen to them. Sometimes we don't have a clue what we say to them. Sometimes we just make them talk. When them feel relieved, we just take their money. Why on the people not easy, you know? So what me I got to do now? Watch your man. Get rid of them people out of the yard. Then you come talk to me. <laughs> I understand this money, yeah, man. <laughs>